Why, hello there guys, my name is Fat Neutral, and first thing first, sorry for not uploading, but I have a pretty valid excuse. So, I was gonna make a tutorial on Saturday, and then I opened up Contagia, and it did not work, so I had to reinstall Contagia and everything. And then when I finally got it working about Monday night, and then I looked online uh, on Blackboard, which is like, um, where you can see all your homework for that day if you forget, because I tend to forget, I don't really use my agenda. I realized that I have a shitload of homework, so I did all my homework. Then I was going to do a tutorial, which I needed to record a cinematic with, and then my PVR broke down. So I've had some pretty bad luck in the past few days, so I'm sorry about that, guys. But I have Contagia working again, my PVR is still not working, so I will try to get that working sometime soon, and then I'll bring out the tutorial I had in mind for that. But today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this cinematic transition. So first of all, I want to say, if I get... um. Uh, 50 likes, I'll, sh I'll do a tutorial on that motion tracked um, 3D text logo thing in the clip and then this is the tutorial I'm doing on today, it's really glitchy for some reason but it was a tutorial from the cinematic into the into the clip so let's just get straight into it what I have here is I have the cinematic and I have the clip and I'm just gonna make a new comp and I'm well, I'll click, click this button and it's good, yeah 5 seconds is good enough and I'll just call this tut for now okay then I'm gonna Bring in the cinematic, and I'm going to go, I'm just going to drag it over until it starts moving. Okay, so it starts moving right here. I'm going to put this on half for a second, and I'm actually just going to do something quickly. So they don't talk to me. Okay, I'm actually going to make this composition 30 seconds for, for a few seconds. Well, I'm going to make it 35 seconds for a bit, and then I'll adjust it afterwards. So we have what do you, what we have here is this. Okay, come on After Effects. I'm not asking for much. Okay, and then comes in like that, and it has the dude. And then right here, I'm gonna make a marker, and then right there, I'm gonna make a marker. Actually, I'll, I'll put the first one about here-ish. Right there. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag in my shot, and I'm gonna have to drag this over a lot, so because it has the first shot and then it has the kill cam, so this might take a few seconds. I don't know why my After Effects is being. Oh, I haven't opened it for a few days. That's probably why. It does that when you don't listen, when you don't like love it for a few days, it gets mad at you. Okay, come on, where is this? I mean, no, that's the cap. Hurry up. Okay, from right there. Yeah, right there. Okay, and then I'll trim that. And then I'll go in between two and one. And I'll drag this over like here-ish. Okay, so we're good now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to my one marker. Now first, what I want to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the um, the cinematic effect, like the rounding and kill cam whatever effect on the cinematic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my shot, put it in a new composition. I'll go to the kill cam. And I'm just going to freeze frame. Okay. I'm going to zoom in. And hit Q. So it should grab the rectangle tool. If not, hold it. And then go to rectangle tool. And just zoom in a bit. And I'm going to put this on full for a second. And simply mask out. Damn it. Click on the layer first. Simply mask out this um, this little player card. Okay, so that's good. And then click off, hit F, and feather this to five pixels. You could even do less. It's up to you. I th actually, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two pixels. Okay, it's good. Then I'm gonna leave that, and I'm gonna make a new solid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my clip. Sorry about that. My faggot brother interrupted me. Anyways, what I'm going to do is go into my mask and delete this mask so I see the clip again. Turn off the solid. Then I'm going to hit Q or just grab the tool myself. I'm going to mask this portion on the solid. And then I'm going to mask the second portion right here. Okay. So it's good. And then I can just... Can turn this on and 
And what I'm going to do is hit, go to T for opacity and put this to about 30%. Okay? You could do less if you want. It's up to you. You can kind of, maybe a bit less actually. I'm going to go to T and I'm going to bring this to 20, 20%. Let's go, let's look at that. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is grab my text tool and the text that they use for Black Ops 2 is Agency FB. So I have it here somewhere. Um, it's right there, Agency FB. So what you guys want to do is just, um, I'll probably have a download link in the description for it, but I'm just going to grab Agency FB. H -N okay, whatever, it's not working, but I'm just going to, I'll type something in and then I'll grab the text afterwards. So I'm going to type in round, if I can type properly, round and in fag cam, as I did in my edit. And I'm gonna go to my fonts, go to the top, and click on Agency FB. Now I'm gonna go on bold. Oh, sorry, no regular. I don't know why I did that. Okay, and I'm gonna shrink this down a bit. I'm gonna bring these letters in a bit more. Okay, maybe a bit more. I'll shrink it down a bit more. And now it's practically the same thing. Now what I'm going to do is just turn off this, actually I could, I could delete this layer now because we're done with that. And as you can tell on the other thing, um, on the other text it had a few effects on it. So let's type in drop shadow, drag it on and just take the preset of that. And you can't tell right now, but if I go like that, you can see that with the drop shadow and without, there's quite a big difference. Then type in pixelate, oh no, sorry, not pixelate, mosaic, okay, just drag a mosaic on and bring this up a lot not that much you just wanna wanna pixelate the text a bit I think that's good okay that's good and we should be good for now that looks good enough and yeah we should leave that okay so we have this and it's just this rounded in fact cam and we can change the text if we want to now go back to cinematic composition and let's drag in, um, what, is, what is it called? Okay, I'm just gonna rename this composition to template or whatever. And let's go to template, drag it in on here. And now we have it saying, actually I'm gonna scale it up just a tiny bit because you can see right here we have some white bars. So I'm gonna put this to 102. Okay, so now we've got scaled up and everything and it looks great. So now we have this cinematic and then we have this dude and then it goes into the clip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my one marker, make a new adjustment layer, trim it up, type in CC light. And I'm not doing great on my keyboard right now. CC light burst, okay. Go to rate length and hit zero, keyframe it. Um, and then we're not gonna keyframe the center just yet. Now what we're gonna do is go to two and it's going to be zero again. Make another marker. Then we're going to go in between. So let's find about in between. I think that's good enough. And actually, I'll go one over. So it's completely, it's on the next clip. And I'm going to bring this to 45. That's what I used. Then what I'm going to do is go 10 frames back. Maybe uh, I'll go 20 frames back from there. And I'm going to keyframe the center and bring the center to over here. Okay, so it's it's kind of it's blurred out the player, so you don't see the player much, and then it kind of like acts over, it like blurs over, and then you can kind of like see it coming apart to the next clip. It's really cool, but um yeah, so I'll just keyframe the center, and I'm gonna go to the middle, and I'm gonna turn this off, turn off my clip for a second, so I can see where the dude is, and I'm gonna put it over here on the dude's ass, so then you can see the dude completely. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over 10, 20 keyframes, and I'll drag this over here. So it went over the dude completely, and now the dude is blurry again. Now we can turn on our clip, go to the middle, and I'm actually gonna I'm gonna bring the clip over 10 frames. Okay, and I'm gonna keyframe the opacity and go to the middle marker, and then. Just gonna put this to zero to 100. Okay, so now what we have so far, I'm just gonna ram preview this really quickly. Pretty simple, 
CC light burst into the next clip and you don't need to do the opacity it's just uh, I think it looks nice and yeah that's about it so just like burst into the next clip it looks really cool and yeah that's how I did the effect then what um then what you want to do because if you look through this you can see the effect really clearly what you want to do is obviously um, obviously add a color correction and a real smart motion blur to this then also what you can do is so say you're done your cinematic thing whatever bring it into your like pre-compose it and bring it into your other composition and where it's one and like where the markers are the one and two just speed that portion up like by 250 percent so it's like a lot faster and uh, yeah so it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be like no not that fast it'd be like yeah it'd be like that so yeah that's about it for this tutorial hope you guys enjoyed I'm gonna have down the link in the description for the agency FB text and uh, yeah hopefully I can get my PVR sorted out and show you guys the tutorial on a really cool effect I figured out and uh, yeah so 50 likes and I'll do a tutorial on the motion tracked um, 3d logo and the text on the clip and that's all I have time for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.